the story of agriculture and climate change, the road we've traveled. The United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, or UNFCCC for short, was established as an intergovernmental treaty back in 1992 at the Rio Earth Summit. The first COP took place in Berlin in 1995, and two years later, in 1997, the Kyoto Protocol was adopted, setting binding targets for reducing emissions and assisting countries in adapting to the adverse effects of climate change. Fast forward to 2005, a series of five workshops were held, several of which focusing specifically on the interconnections between agriculture and climate change. Then, in 2008, the UNFCCC Secretariat prepared a technical paper on the challenges and opportunities for mitigation in the agricultural sector, later discussed by the Ad Hoc Working Group on Long-Term Cooperative Action in March 2009. That same year, a dedicated group was established to negotiate a draft text for agriculture, at which point it was proposed to establish a work program on agriculture under SABSTA, the subsidiary body for scientific and technical advice. SABSTA's purpose within the UNFCCC is to provide scientific and technological information to help inform COP. A work program on agriculture would allow SABSTA to research, document, and share knowledge of improved agricultural practices to inform decision-making around agriculture and climate change. COP15 in 2009 was also the venue for the first ever Agriculture and Rural Development Day. The following year, 2010, saw the hosting of the second Agriculture Day in Cancun, with further progress and information sharing taking place. Agriculture is really crucial for poverty alleviation and therefore food security. But on the other hand, uh, climate, agriculture is also emitting greenhouse gases. We need to put mitigation and adaptation together. And agriculture is where it's happened. It's one of the few sectors where agri adaptation and mitigation come together. A major challenge is how do we adapt to a changing climate. Southern Africa and indeed Africa-wide, the biggest challenge we have is that agriculture is rain-fed. Because it is rain-fed, we know from the climate models and the predictions that rainfall and temperature are the two major issues that will change. We need to get on with the actions of bringing policy to bear. Cancun right now, let's open the door to agriculture, let's get these actions happening. In 2011, the third Agriculture Day then took place in Durban, South Africa, with leading agricultural organizations presenting an open letter to negotiators calling for them to take action on the adoption of a work program on agriculture and a substa. Progress was made with COP17 negotiators, inviting parties and observers to submit their views on agriculture for consideration by substa and report to COP in 2012 in Doha. In June 2012, Agriculture Day 4 took place in parallel with the Rio Plus 20 summit. The biggest challenge right now is climate change. Farmer education is very important to try and help them to understand the variability in the seasons and the need to adopt technologies that can mitigate against climate change. Here at Agriculture, Landscapes and Livelihoods Day 5, the work of our sectors continues with high-level speeches and panel sessions, roundtable discussions, an ideas marketplace, and a special focus on solutions for people in dry lands and beyond. Today is the next chapter of the story of agriculture and climate change at the UNFCCC. Welcome.